Hello, I'm Antandra, and today I'm going to show you how to make a talking bass and operator that sounds something like this. Alright, so let's get started. First off, I'm going to go to Instruments, drag Operator onto this empty MIDI track. And then let's go over here. Just going to copy this pattern and mute this track. So, by default, operator sounds like this. Unless you have a subwoofer, you probably can't hear that. Maybe headphones, it's a very deep sine wave tone. So, let's get started. First off, I'm going to change this to a square wave. You could use a saw or a square, it's just a matter of preference. I'm going to do a square. Let's see, I'm going to start with this full range one, so it sounds like... Alright. Next thing, I'm going to choose a bandpass filter. And turn the frequency down. I'm going to turn on this LFO. And turn up the volume of this oscillator a bit. And then... Here on the filter, I'm going to, oh wait, no, under LFO, I'm going to take, take it off all of the oscillators and turn it on for the filter. I'm going to choose sync for the type, and I'm going to put it on one half, turn up the amount. So that's what that sounds like. Now what we're going to do is throw a redux on in the Ableton effects. We'll throw the redux on after the operator, leave it on hard, and turn it up to about 24, maybe less, maybe a little more. Just depends on what you're going for. Now it sounds like this. Play with the settings to get it just right. So, I'm going to turn this chorus down to half. I'm going to give some level to oscillator 2 to start FMing the sound with the sine wave. So basically it's going to oscillate the pitch of that sound at a high rate. See, that's a little too extreme, but a little bit of subtle FM can be good. I'm going to turn up the resonance. It's pretty important, depending on the sound you're going for. change this to 12 slope so it's a little less steep. It sounds kind of cool but it's not the effect we're going for. I'm going to turn down the FM right here. That's more like the yai bass we're kind of going for here. Kind of a yai, yao, yeah talking bass. Let's compare that to the original. Totally different, but that's how you get there, just using these techniques and tweaking the sound until you get it just the way you want it to be for whatever case. And then a cool thing you can do is resample it. So I'm going to go over here, and then I get my audio from operator 2, turn on record here, and now I'm going to just record that sample. And I should probably turn it down because it looks like it's clipping. Let's hear what that sounds like. It's probably going to 
distort. No, it doesn't sound too bad, but if I turn that down a little and record it again. Oh, wait, I muted it. Let's delete that. Alright, so we got that. You could change this to, let's see, change it to a saw wave. It gets that kind of effect. One thing to keep in mind when you're doing this is that it adds a lot of subtle harmonics to the high end and they aren't necessarily going to be in tune with the note or frequency of your song so you just have to be aware of that and try and basically get the sound, get the tone you want in the downsampling while tuning it, tuning those higher harmonics to the notes that you're playing. You can change the waves here to get some different effects. Or So when I change the, the chorus on this second oscillator that's modulating the first one, it's just changing how fast it's going to be moving the pitch up and down in the shape of this waveform. In this case, it's a sine wave that I have, which is usually what I'll use for FM. You can use other waves, but if you use another wave, it's going to change the smoothness of how the pitch moves up and down. So if I use a square wave, it's just going to cut up and down. Let's use a total square. All right. So it's a less noticeable FM effect. It can be useful. There's different, every wave is going to get different types of sounds out of it. Another fun thing to do is take it off sync. And turn on this envelope. And then I'm going to disable the envelope for all the, the pitches of the oscillators. Just leave it on the LFO. I'm going to turn this pitch envelope up. Play around with this. I'm going to be making a sample pack of some of these talking basses and um, give that away as a free download. So check for the link in the description. And until next time, I hope you got something out of this video. I'm Antandra. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And check out my website, antandra.com. Also, 
All my music is free to download, so go check that out. Alright, thanks. Have a good one.